Hello, let's do the New York Times hard Sudoku for September 26, 2023. There's a link in the description if you'd like to try the puzzle yourself. And I'm going to get started right now. All right, um, are there no repeats? There is a repeat, there's threes up here. In fact, it, yeah, I was gonna say it places a three, but it doesn't, it's up here. Um, this two and one are interesting though, because they look into this box and these aren't two and one. So there's only two places for one and two. So you end up with a hidden one, two pair here. And then the remaining digits are four and nine, which are not resolved, but we get that four, nine pair as well. Um, I'm not sure there's much to do with this row just because, oh, actually there is, there's a little bit to do. This is, this can't be seven or eight. So let's see, we need one, two, three, four, we need five and six here, and then they can't be seven, eight. Um, these also can't be seven, eight. So that's also five, six. And so the seven, eight go here. Nice. Okay. Um, we've got these, um, these hidden pairs that are happening, right? We had this one, two hidden pair, and then we had this seven, eight hidden pair. It's interesting. Um, Oh, I can just place this one down here. So let's do it. Oops, let's type the number one and not the number four though. Um, I had a I had an ergonomics question. I can't move my camera; it's mounted. But um, I had an er ergonomics question. I'm not sure I'm the one to follow there, but I have my. Um, let's see if I can show. I have my um, hand across my keyboard pointed at on on my um uh number pad like this that's why my typos are like four instead of one <laughs> things like that so I, i've got i've got this i've got this armrest thing here right and i've got my my elbow on the left side of it and my arm tra draped across the whole the whole pad and just like loosely resting on on the number pad and then i've got i've got this thing for my mouse and I've got my other hand on the mouse, and that's usually how my my hand is while I'm while I'm doing Sudoku. Um, I might move over to the left to do some things if I need like letters and stuff, but usually this is like my resting position for Sudoku, um, which is why I do a lot of clicking. Like I don't do like holding Control and Shift and stuff to change modes because it's way over there. Um, so I just click the I just click the buttons with my mouse. Um, I don't know that you want to follow my ergonomics there, but that is how I do it, and uh, I can do Sudoku all day. So anyway, let's let's do Sudoku now. How about that? Um, just th oh yeah, this five looks up, so let's place the five as well, and let's place this triple. So we need four, six, and nine. I see this nine looking in, but it's not resolved. But four, six, nine. Oh, this five gives us the six and the five. That's nice. Um, four, six, nine is a triple here. So I just want to think about what these four are. We need two, three, two, three, seven, eight. We have this seven. We have this eight and this three. Oh, this sees three and seven. So this is two and eight only. I'm going to type them all because I, I want this four, six, nine triple to be baked in. Normally I wouldn't because the, the, um, there's a lot of candidates left, but yeah, I'm not sure we can do more than that, unfortunate. But I want this triple baked in because I'm going to forget about it. Let's see. So what else can we do over here? We have sevens. We have quite a few sevens, actually. It's just this box is empty, so. Um... Ah, we have a crossing. so. If you have two digits that share a row or column, these two in this case show a column. If it's row, you kind of swap where I say row and column. <laughs> um, but anyway, these share a column, which means that there is one row that they don't occupy, and that's row six here. Um, so you want to look at that row, not in the box, for any digits that are placed or pointing that might be happening um, that is not already placed in this box. And so the seven doesn't count. Oh, these, these don't count. The seven doesn't count because the seven's already in the box, but the three is not in the box. Then you can scan the two columns that they don't occupy and look for another three in this case. And if you find it, then you have found something interesting. In this case, it placed a three. So there we go, placed a three. Um, it'll either place the digit or it'll be pointing, uh, limited to two cells. Either way, that's useful. It places the three down here as well because we have a bunch of threes looking in the box. 
Um, this is not a three. There's a three over here. I need two, three, four, nine here, and I'm just gonna fill that as well. The nine's not in one of these two. Um, wow, this just isn't cleaning up as much as I hope. Yeah, I already saw threes were here, darn. Okay, um, I'm looking at crossings for here. So again, we're gonna look at these three digits. We see that the one's already placed. So three and two are what's left. And then the crossings for these, we're, we're gonna leave get these rows. So the three does repeat, but we have that marked already. And then the six, seven don't. Um, or in this case, the two doesn't. Um, I think I might have to move on. Let's 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 look at this band. I feel like I already moved on. <laughs> um, okay, we've got nines down here. I just mark that. I don't. I'm just. I'm having trouble finding duplicates. I just there aren't duplicates. Um. I don't see any crossings either. Yeah, so let's go vertical. I think we, we already kind of... I mean, I don't know that I want to mark this, but let's think about what we need at least. We need four, five, six, seven, eight. Four through eight. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So this can't be six or eight. Actually, these, these both can't be six. So since these both can't be six, the six goes down here. Um... So this is what, four, five, seven. And then this is four, six, eight. Oh, it's not six either, right? They can't be six. So this sees this sees five, six, seven. So this is only four and eight. These can't be fives. Ah, so five in this column. There we go. Five in this column is placed. I should have seen that earlier. But anyway, all these fives look at this column. So five is placed here. That's very nice. Um, I don't think that there's follow-up there. It actually literally had four, four fives already looking in. If you have four of a digit looking into a box, the, it's by definition placed, unless you made a mistake. Um, so these are now four, six, seven, eight. I don't know that I want to mark that. It's, it's literally all of them. Oh, this one's not eight, so it's four, six, four, six, seven. Um, what do we need in this row? We need two. Um, two, four, six, seven. These can't be seven. Oh, this can't be two, four, or seven. So this is a six. It's a naked single. That place, ooh, ooh, that place is this six. Um, and so then these are two, four, seven. Which I'll just mark. That's not a seven. Ah, okay, that doesn't do anything. I thought it did something for a second. Um, let's scan vertically here. We've got two threes looking into here and this three. So, oh, actually, three is placed. We have four threes looking into this box. Let's look at threes. What do we have going on for threes? We have this rectangle of threes left. That's it. Okay. Um, there's sixes down here. Seven's already marked. I wonder something with nines, but I can't. And then, okay, this, this column needs one, five, and eight. This sees five and eight, so it can only be one. That's helpful. I feel like this is another puzzle that's kind of solving. Um, okay, and we get the eight and the five as well because of that five. Maybe I should have looked at fives earlier. Feels like I should have. Anyway, I think we're done. Um, believe it or not, I think it's just a matter of marking up the rest of the puzzle and finding what digits they are, but let's see. Um, this is done. This is um, a six. And since I haven't marked up the whole, I haven't even finished scanning, I haven't marked up the whole puzzle, it's going to take a little longer to finish, but um, we need a four and a nine here, which is not resolved. Um, let's just think about the digits we need here. We need one, two, five, no, one, two, six, eight, one, two, six, eight. I'm just going to start marking everything. Um, Pretty sure we're done. One, two, four, nine. Um, have I have I looked at fives? Let's see. Fives are looking into this box. So fives are here. 
Huh. Um, fives in one of these two. So we have fives here, we have fives here, and then we have fives like here. Unfortunate. Let's see, one, four, six, eight. Well, this can't be one or six, so this is only four, eight. This isn't six, this is one, four, eight. Is there more to this puzzle? <laughs> there might be. It seems like like they have too many th uh, digits placed for there to be more to this puzzle. Um, let's do fours there. All right, what what does this row need? It needs a one two three one two four five eight one two four five eight. Yeah. Eight is only here. Because this 8 sees here and this 8 sees these two. So 8 must be placed here in the row, and that's a 4. And we are finally getting digits again. There we go. So that hidden 8 seemed important. Um, these are 1, 2, 4, 5. Uh, 5 is also hidden in the row now that the 8 is placed. I think the eight placing the 8 gave us the 5 as well. This is 1, 2, 4. Hiddens in rows and columns for me are much harder to see. I, some people have said they're, they're just as easy, but for me they're harder. Um, let's see, we need, well, we know this can't be five or seven, which is two of the digits. So what, what's the other digit this is? This is a two. Um, and we are getting all of these digits. All right. I keep saying we're done, but I mean, at this point we definitely are. <laughs> um, cool. Yeah. Not much to this puzzle, to be honest. Maybe, maybe this hidden, I don't know. There, I think I, I spotted the important things very quickly. I think that's what happened. But I mean, could have been an easier puzzle today as well. Nine and eight. Um, maybe I'm finally improving. Ha, funny joke. All right, four, five, and seven. So this is five. This is seven. This is four. There we go. Still took 12 minutes, even though I, I feel like I was done around the eight minute mark, and then it still took me like four minutes to finish. Um, but yeah, there we go. Um, I also spent time holding up my keyboard and showing how I rest my hand on it. So um, not exactly going for speed solves here, but I hope you enjoy them. And if you do, then why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.